The Office of the Medical Examiner of El Paso County is one that serves many functions for the residents of the county and works with many agencies in order to carry out their mission. The El Paso Office of the Medical Examiner investigates cases of sudden, unexpected, or unexplained deaths that take place in the El Paso County. Um, similarly, we take jurisdiction on cases which occur under undetermined circumstances. Not only is it an office that people who have suffered tremendous loss have to depend on, but it's also an office that is integral to justice and access to justice. Uh, our delivery of medical legal service will have an ever-present standard of greatness. Dr. Mario Rascon has been the medical examiner for the County of El Paso since 2014. His office was accredited by the Association of Medical Examiners in May of 2016. This is a third-party endorsement stating the medical examiner office provides an adequate environment for forensic pathologists to do their job. The whole medical examiner family embraced the plan from the get-go. Everyone was on board, everyone knew what is it that we needed to do to reach the point where we wanted to get at, which was name accreditation ultimately. And that made me very proud that we were able to achieve uh, literally a perfect uh, inspection. The medical examiner's office underwent a rigorous inspection program of not just the facilities, but the office's procedures and practice manuals. They were able to exceed the minimum requirements to become accredited. Our office was found to have zero phase one or phase two deficiencies. We've proved that we have developed and maintained a high caliber medical legal death investigation system for our community. Dr. Roscoen says the path the office took to get the recognition has been long and many departments were involved. That included a commissioner's court that was willing to invest in the office of the medical examiner. His staff has the utmost respect for him. And with a great staff and a great leader, anything is possible. In 2011, uh, Senator Rodriguez and the rest of the delegation were able to pass a bill um, that allowed uh, Dr. Roscoen to come here because uh, uh, Texas had some stringent rules when it came to doctors with accreditation in, in, in other parts of the country. Uh, we here in the United States are just simply not producing enough doctors to fill these types of critical positions. Um, that's why it was so difficult to fill uh, this position and it further underscores uh, just the level and, and the depths that the county uh, human resources, the county judge, the commissioner's court and others had to go to to find uh, the right leader. Part of the change came from within the department itself. Dr. Roscoen implemented changes that has transformed the office from within. Um, we had a complete agency restructure. Uh, this included rewriting all of our standard operating procedures. Dr. Roscoen says this recognition brings to the forefront the many things the department does that most residents of the county don't realize. This includes working with local health departments to serve residents during times of crisis. Uh, we have been working together to refine, to develop our mass fatality plans and uh, Dr. Uh, Rascon has been instrumental in helping us revise and refine our plan. Dr. Rascon says this accreditation only serves as a building block that the Office of the Medical Examiners can build upon. He says his office will continue to strive to serve the residents of the county and continue their excellent practices. That also what is very important that you ask one of these people, a family member that has been touched by a tragedy, how they were treated and uh, it's always at the, the excellent uh, level. My allegiance to this community goes beyond accreditation checklists. I am fully committed to providing all the citizens of El Paso with a delivery of medical legal death investigation whose ever-present standard is greatness. <laughs>